I just came across this tool literally like two hours ago and I think it's gonna be an absolute game changer for anyone that creates content. The tool that I'm talking about is Napkin AI and it's essentially an AI graphic generator. All you have to do is type in your text and it automatically generates slick looking graphics that you can use in content like YouTube videos, newsletters, blogs, tweets, really anything that you publish online. This tool makes it incredibly easy. And one of the best parts is it's still in beta, so it's completely free to use the pro plan right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I would jump on this right now. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm on their webpage here. As you can see, get visuals from your text. Napkin turns your text into visuals, so sharing your ideas is quick and effective. I think the whole play here is like, writing on a napkin and uh, you know doing business deals on a napkin i could be wrong there it's napkin.ai by the way is the url i don't have any affiliation or like affiliate code or anything to them i just think this is this is really cool and then their pricing here you can see the professional plan is zero dollars right now during their beta uh, this makes it sound like it's free for now and they're eventually going to start charging but if you subscribe now they're going to give you a deal if you want to keep using it so i already signed up for an account so i'll go ahead and say sign in here and then it brings you to a new napkin. So this is basically like your workspace. So all you have to do is drop in your text. It's going to basically consume that text, understand what you're talking about, and then create a visual for you. It's literally like you kind of have like a junior level graphic designer on your hands that you just feed him some information and say, hey, like, can you create this for me? So I went ahead and wrote an example here. So a use case for this might be you know, making a graphic for like your company history. So let's say you're working on your website and you want to do like a company history graphic of like, this is when we were founded. This is when we reached profitability. This is when we, you know, got our first million in sales. I just wrote out a quick one right here from 1995 to 2015. It's obviously all fake information, but like company launches, internet bubble values business at hundred million, then stock market crashes. We rebuild the company, take the company private, and then Elon Musk becomes CEO. So this is all just fake information, but I think think it'll look pretty cool when it makes a graphic. So once you input this here, you go ahead and click this button. It starts consuming it and it comes up with your graphics. So look at this. It's a timeline 95. So it used all the same text that I gave it. Something that's interesting actually. So it understood that I put all of these in lowercase and then so it actually corrected them into uppercase to read like a better sentence. But this is sick. This is something you could easily put on a web page, you know, Normally going into Canva, this would take me, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to build just cause like, I don't know, maybe someone else is better, but this saves a ton of time. This one even looks better here actually. Look at this. Okay, I like this. So let's say I wanted to use this right here. All you have to do is download PNG. And then let's say I was writing a newsletter, right? So like you come over to Beehive, uh, you know, company history of Acme Corp. And then drop in an image right here, actually. Maybe can I just drop it in right here? Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Like that took me 30 seconds and this is clean. Man, this is pretty sick. One more example. I went and put together another fake piece of data. So let's pretend like you're writing a newsletter or a blog post and you want to do something on like a study. Let's say for this one, let's say there was a study on where companies got their first customer. Uh, so I said 5% cold call, 45% cold email, 10% conference, 40% word of mouth. So this adds up to hundred percent. Let's see what it gives us here. Boom. I mean, this is probably not what I would create. I think I'd do something like this. All right, so this is sweet. Like, look at this. This took 10 seconds and it even got, well, conference is probably talking about video there, right? Word of mouth. Eh, I don't love the graphics here, but like, come on now. This is sick. This is sick. Bar chart. Actually, I, I kind of even like this one more. What else do we have here? That one. Mm, it's not too bad. Actually, this one's pretty sick. This one, I like this one. Oh, and you can actually come in here and let's say I wanted to change this to 20%. Okay, so it's fully editable. Man, that's cool. That is cool. Download as a PNG. 
drop it into Beehive. Now that's something that I think a graphic designer would take like a while to make, or you could go in Canva and try to do this. I think this is an absolute game changer, like creating YouTube videos, being able to use graphics like this. Now I do want to say that it wouldn't surprise me if Canva came out with something similar, right? Like this is kind of a feature. I wouldn't say this is a business. So I think it's probably only a matter of time before you can do this on Canva. Maybe you can already do something similar. I just haven't seen something like this impressive with Canva. So stay tuned. Maybe uh, Canva launches something like this, but in the meantime, Bravo napkin. This is, this is pretty sick and I will definitely be using this. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, drop a comment below. Tell me an idea of a use case you could use this for, or if you'll be using this and I hope you enjoyed the video. So peace.